Hi, Jamie. Hi, Lily. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the traditional dances in England, Scotland and Australia. Wow, that sounds exciting. Yes, let's go. As we know, all the countries have traditional dances and England is not an exception. Some of these dances are Morris Dance, Maple Dance and Rapers Ward. Morris Dance is performed by a group of dancers using instruments like swords, kerchiefs, bells and sticks. Generally, this dance is part of processions and other English festivals. Maple dance is performed around a pole that resembles a tree decorated with flowers and ribbons. This dance is a spring rite that is performed to ensure fertility. And Raper's Word is a dance from the northeast of England and consists in five people connected by five swords forming an uninterrupted chain. They include acrobatics, deadly jumps and games with swords. That's amazing! to talk about Scotland. The principal traditional dances are Gaelic, Cape Breton dance, Scottish country dancing and Highland dance. Cape Breton dance is mainly done alone and is combined with traditional Scottish music. Highland dance is one of the liveliest and colorful dances. It is very competitive and technical form of dance, which requires resistance and strength, recognized by a sports council as a sport. It's a social dance performing groups and usually musicians and dance experts tell you how to do the steps. It's dance in weddings, birthdays, parties, etc. Fantastic. And Scottish country dancing is similar to Gaelic but more formal and better organized. It is done in sets of three, four, or five pairs, forming two lines of men and women, or in squares. During the course of the dance, the dancers complete very colorful formations, enough time to return to their starting positions. Wow, that dancing looks very difficult! And finally, I'm going to talk about Australian dances. These are dances of primitive origin with their system of social organization by tribes. Their dances are ceremonial linked to mites where they ask for food, which is scarce due to adversary conditions. There are festive dances characterized by lively movements, jumps and kiking. Which are, which are danced in social events, such as weddings, funerals, or commemorative events.
That was interesting. Yes. Well, that's all. See you, friends. Bye.